What's up guys, my name is Austin with Weasel Tech and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn any object into 3D using Cinema 4D and Photoshop CS6. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up Photoshop. And uh, you're going to want to go ahead and get the picture open that you're going to want to select your object from. Now, for this instance, I'm going to try to do something a little bit more simple. Um, this is just the half-life symbol on a black background. It makes it very easy for me to select what I need and turn it into an object. So normally, if you have an object that is just this separated from the rest of the picture, you can usually easily just use the magic wand tool and select uh, the object, and that'll give you a perfect uh, surrounding. Uh, but for the sake of, you know, maybe there's a possibility that the object that you're trying to remove from the picture and turn 3D is a little bit more intricate, or maybe it's within a bunch of different things in the picture, and so you have to be able to isolate it. Uh, what you'll need to do then is use the pen tool. So that's what we're going to go with. We're just going to use the pen tool right over here. And we're just going to click and create all these little anchor points around the object. Now, I'm not trying to make this exactly perfect because this is just for a tutorial. But if you were worried about the um, exactness, I would just try to make sure to be as precise as you could with this pen tool. Because otherwise, you might come out with something that doesn't look exactly right. And once you have all of these points clicked and around, you'll notice that the that the line has completely closed itself off. And the next thing that we're going to want to do is right click on that line and check make selection. Make sure that your feather radius is set to zero just so that way there's no um, edging on either side. You know, you want, if you're trying to make this exact, you really want to make sure that the feather radius is set to zero. So we'll click OK. And you'll notice now that it has created a selection from the picture itself. And what we're going to want to do with that selection is click on the rectangular marquee tool up here at the top and right click inside of the object and select make work path. Usually you just want to keep your tolerance at two, that's the standard. I haven't messed with anything else but I know that two pixels works for the tolerance and I've never had any issues with it so I suggest just staying with the standard preset of two pixels. And Then you'll click OK and at this point we now have a work path created for this object. The next thing that we're going to want to do is export that file. So we're going to need to go down to export paths to illustrator <clears throat> and we're going to want to click OK with work path selected okay now we have the work path selected and ready to go so we're just gonna save it wherever we want I'm just gonna save it to the desktop I have created this once before so we'll just overwrite that okay and now you're pretty much done here in Photoshop let's move over to Cinema 4D Okay, so once you have Cinema 4D open, now is the point to try to open that Adobe Illustrator file. So we're just going to check open. And as you can see, there's a file right here. We'll double click on that. Uh, just make sure the scale is set to 1 and that both boxes are checked. Um, I've never messed with the scale changing any, um, but I'm guessing is it just makes the object a lot larger from the get-go. Of course, tell me if I'm wrong. I've just never messed with it, and I know that 1 centimeter works for me, so it should work for you. Okay, so now you'll notice that we have the work path uh, inside of Cinema 4D. Um, in, in order to turn this line into a 3D object, we're going to want to click and hold down Subdivision Surface, and we're going to want to click on Extrude. Okay, and then we're going to want to take this work path and make it a child of the extrude, and now you'll notice that it creates this 3D image, which now we can just click on the extrude and we can change the thickness of it uh, by increasing the last option in the movement. You see it goes up and down. Um, now I've done a bunch of other things in the past with, uh, you know, maybe rounding out the edges and uh, trying to make it look a little bit more realistic, uh, but that's a little bit more intermediate and we're just trying to keep this video very basic, very uh, beginner level. Um, so if you guys ever want to see anything further past this, I would suggest leaving a comment below and letting me know that you want to see it. Uh, but for now, that's basically all you need to take any object from Photoshop and import it into Cinema 4D to make it a 3D object. Simple as that. Alright guys, so if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. 
Also, uh, maybe like this video. Maybe don't. You already watched the whole thing, didn't you? You reached this point. You've won. Congratulations.